to another We Create Wednesday. Today I'm going to help you start the process of creating a multimedia assemblage art piece inspired by the work of Beverly West Leach, whose work is currently on display at the Wiregrass Museum of Art. Now assemblage is very similar to collage, and collage in its truest form is simply the gluing of materials to a flat surface. Now what artist Beverly West Leach creates is not exactly collage, but rather an assemblage. She gathers all kinds of materials and trinkets to create three-dimensional collages or assemblages that hold great personal meaning. So let's take a closer look at one of her pieces and explore how she creates these assemblages. One of my favorite pieces in Beverly West Leach's exhibit at the Wiregrass Museum of Art is this piece here entitled Autumn to May, which was inspired by a Peter Palomari song of the same name. Miss Leach explains, this assemblage of three-dimensional objects tells a story about a very specific song I remember from my childhood. It was sung by Peter, Paul, and Mary, and I used to play the album for hours and hours and hours on end, and the song itself has strong visual imagery. The objects collected are mostly flea market finds and a few finds on the internet because I was very cautious about which objects to incorporate to visually tell the story. So as you look at the objects in this box, I hope you enjoy the song Autumn to May. Now you can see this piece again currently on display at WMA with the lyrics of the song right next to it so that you can go on your own mini scavenger hunt as you look at this incredible piece. But now let's create our own. So how do we get started with something like this? How do we find inspiration? Where do we look for material and subject matter? Well, we had the same question. So we asked artist Beverly West Leach, and this is what she had to say. Sometimes deliberately and sometimes spontaneously by just messing around with bits and pieces laying around my studio. Usually there's a vague idea like transition, metamorphosis, or the cycle of life, and then I start making whatever it is I'm about to make. Sometimes a piece begins with something I have read, an article, a poem, a news report, or a novel. Once an idea takes hold, I'll do research on it if I think I need to know more, thus helping me understand what I'm about to embark on making. Subject matter can be chosen for my everyday life as well. So let's think about it. What do we find inspiring? Who inspires us, right? Is it someone that we know? Is it a song? Is it a poem? Think of what inspires you and then start collecting items. How you assemble your piece is really gonna depend on the materials you use and what you choose to house it in, but I can absolutely walk you through my piece just so you get an idea of how to do it. So my piece is inspired by a They Might Be Giant song called Birdhouse in Your Soul. And I just used foam mounting tape and a glue stick in order to make everything stay in my piece. So my Jimmy Stewart there, my 1940s radio, the lighthouse, the banner, the bird, those were all stuck on using foam mounting tape, the leaves on the outside. And then the trees and the leaves and the flowers on the inside, they were stickers. Um, otherwise the bonnet and the golden fleece and the birdhouse, they are just sitting in there. Uh, that is an electric tea light. So just put this together with whatever you find that is safe and you're comfortable using. Thank you so much for joining us today, friends. I hope that you found some inspiration to create your own multimedia assemblage art piece. I wanted to let you know that WMA is hosting a virtual workshop with artist Beverly West Leach on October 10th at 10 a.m. You can register on our website, www.wiregrassmuseum.org. Hope to see you there, and I hope you have a great week. Thank you.